Hey wrestling fans, JC Styles here, F and True Wrestling. Uh, here to bring you a unboxing vid of FYE and of eBay. I have two stacks here, one of FYE, one of eBay. Uh, FYE is currently running a promotion for those of you who already know about it. It's uh, buy and for every three you buy, you get one free on used DVD. So I went and cleaned house yesterday. I got four uh, box sets from FYE. Uh, the first one is the first Hulk Hogan DVD, the Ultimate Anthology. I mean, Ultimate, yeah, the Ultimate Anthology. Uh, it's three disc set. It's got some of Hulk Hogan's greatest matches. Uh, I'll just mention a couple of them to you. Hulk Hogan versus Nick Bockwinkle uh, from 83. Hogan, Sheik, Garden. Uh, Hogan versus Big John Studd. Hogan versus Piper. Hogan versus, and Mr. T versus Piper and Paul Orndorff. Orndorff, or uh, how are you, Orndorff, uh, Hulk Hogan vs. King Kong Bundy, etc., you know, uh, haven't owned that, never saw it, so it's kind of cool to get that, and, uh, pretty much, basically, you know, get, you know, the key man who was behind the WWE's success in the early to late 80s. Uh, the second one is the Macho Man, yeah. Uh, I got this for about eight bucks, no, about, no, about, 10 to 12 bucks, I believe. Uh, for those of you, you know, like I said, for those of you who are interested in it, like, see, I got stuff that I knew I would be interested in. Uh, you know, I grew up watching the Macho Man. I loved the Macho Man in WCW when he was with the NWO. I loved all of it, you know, and it's, it's, it gives me a chance to sit down and watch some of his earlier stuff that I was too young to remember, you know. Uh, the next one is Brett the Hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. If you're a wrestling fan and you don't have at least Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, and Macho Man in your collection, you're not a wrestling fan in my book. A lot of people might not have might not have liked Bret Hart, but I mean, look at this. I mean, who wouldn't want that? I mean, three discs of one of the most one of the top five best in-ring technicians in the business that was in the business. The next, uh, the next and last FYE uh, DVD was the Triumph and Tragedy of World Class Championship Wrestling. This is a two disc set. Uh, it's got a lot of the stuff uh, about the Von Erichs and the Von Erich family, the Freebirds, a lot of those guys. You know, and I, I saw this and I really wasn't actually thinking about picking it up, but then my uh, buddy Brian, who I, you know, Brian Crazy, who I do videos with, was like, you know what, you should get this. It was the last one. I'm glad I got it. You know, per, all these DVDs are used, but they're in perfect freaking condition. I would not take. I would not uh, even stress. Fye only takes the greatest of great D looking DVDs. Uh, eBay. I had these burnt for me from a while back, but I actually wanted to acquire the actual thing. You have the WCW, the Rise and Fall of WCW. This DVD for. Uh, one of the guys, I don't remember who it was, I think he was, I don't remember exactly who, but it wasn't Kevin Sullivan, so Kevin Sullivan, I take back what I said, but the guy says, uh, Jeff Jarrett breaks 6,000 guitars and doesn't get one draw, doesn't even draw one person to the arena, you know, so whoever said that, you could suck a monkey's anus. Uh, the next one is the Essential Star K Collection. This is the best and greatest of three disc sets that I have seen so far. Because if it wasn't for, I believe it was the American Dream, we would not have had Star K. So, it's pretty cool to have. I mean, you got so many great matches. Uh, also, the one uh, one event that I'm, I won match I love on this, it was the WCW World Heavyweight Championship match. Uh, Goldberg versus Kevin Nash from Starcade 98. We all remember that was the night that Goldberg's streak ended. So it was kind of a historic night, but it was also kind of a, a BS moment because he got stun rotted. Uh, bought this. I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't actually have the slip cover. Uh, for those that you can see, this is the Triple H. Triple H, the King of Kings, two disc set. Uh, you know, not too much to go there. I mean, Triple H, if, if you grew up in the 90s, and you love Triple H, this is the DVD to have. Uh, this one, dude, guys, I'll tell you right now, 
is probably one of the second of five top five three disc sets that I've ever seen, and that is the best of Raw night from the best of Raw 15th anniversary edition. It's three discs. It's got some of the greatest moments. Uh, each disc is completely different. This is 1993 to 1997. This is 98, the Rock Austin, 98 to 2002. And this is 2003 to 2008. Obviously, you're going to have the poster boy up there, John Cena. Uh, there was just some really, really, really great things. Great stuff on these thing, paper, on these DVDs. I'm just really glad that, I, you know, my buddy Brian told me about this because I'm going back there hopefully sometime soon this week and picking up some more DVDs. Uh, I'll be doing another video of those. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, Joe, why don't you just wait? You know, because I kind of want to get it out of the way. Because I also, another reason, the next part, the ending part of this video is coming up right now. I've waited eight years for this, people. Eight years. I've been told I was always going to get one for Christmas. When they first started making them, I was about 14 years old. I'm 23 now. So it took that much, it took that long to get this. And I, I'm glad. This came in today from WrestlingSuperstore.com. Okay. Now get all the bubble wrap and shit. Get that out of there. You got right there. Uh, you got the authenticity uh, certificate. Certificate of authenticity. And right here, the hostility resistance or whatever they say. Right there. Right there. WWE velvet bag. So you guys are probably going to obviously know what's in this bag in just a matter of moments. So just bear with me. I don't want to mess this up. And actually, a lot of people, I noticed, I've seen putting videos on YouTube. A lot of people don't put their actual real names on there. But you know what? If you're going to get a championship belt, why not put your real name? Why are you going to put some phony name? Like, me and Brian got into an argument and said, why are you going to put JC Styles on this? or Joe Crazy, or any of your other wrestling names that you use in wrestling. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It took me eight years to get this. Bam! Right there. Look at this. This thing is beautiful. Beautiful. They put the nameplate on for me and everything. Joseph Kumia Jr. That's my name. Uh, JC Styles, obviously, is my initial. JC, Joseph Kumia. Uh... But I mean, guys, I mean, just the, just, look, look at that, bad boy, oh my god, that, dude, guys, pimp, look at that, pimp delicious. You know, a lot of people said, oh, why don't you, a lot of, a lot of my friends says, wrestling buddies say, why don't you get the, the WCW one, eh, kind of didn't like the way that the WCW one looked, you know, I saw this, stuck out to me, this was the one I wanted, and, it's uh, pretty damn good, you know. I got the the certified authenticity right there, if you can see it. Wrestling uh, Figures Toy dot com, a uh, figures figures toy company. This is 419 out of a thousand. Uh, World Heavyweight Championship Belt Version Two, Deluxe Replica. I spent a couple extra bucks and got the Deluxe. This is actually the full size replica that they use on TV, uh, I believe. I mean, I hope so, because, yo, this thing is, like, gigantic on me, so I wouldn't see why that wouldn't. This thing's heavy, too. It's got good weight. So, guys, um, come tax time next year, I'm probably going to have another championship belt coming, hopefully. And uh, this has been JC Styles, F and True Wrestling. Hopefully, me and Brian will be back later on tonight with unveiling, and we'll see you later.